Jane, you're the only one here that knows what it's like to be within that royal circle, as in as a as a royal correspondent. On a tour, yeah. Yeah, you you flew on the planes with with members of the royal yeah. family, so you have an insight that none of us here could possibly have. W what do you make of of what you just saw there? Well, first of all, I did feel great sympathy for both of them, and I think that what they're saying is very genuine, it, it, you know, in, in their minds, but. The flip side is that I thought the timing was odd because, um, you know, they're doing a tour where they've just been seeing young girls learning to box um, to stop themselves from being raped and then they're sort of stepping to one side of a camera to talk about their problems, which I found a bit odd. I thought you could have done that at a separate time um, and made it more about the tour. Um, but when I looked at Harry in particular and he was talking about the the press uh, cameras cameras, and, and triggering. Mm. I just suddenly, and this is purely my own personal opinion, I mean, I first met Harry when he was a little, you know, happy-go-lucky <clears throat> kid and he used to throw snowballs at us um, on the ski tours and stuff like that, but um, he just looked traumatised. And for me, I, I suddenly thought, I think the birth of his son has triggered the old trauma or that is probably unresolved, again, just yeah. my personal opinion, that if you... I just think that when you have a child yourself, you, he keeps going on about the safety of his family. Yes. Yeah. And for me, he's, he's conflating his mother's death with the safety of his family, which, to my mind, isn't entirely rational, but I understand it and mm. I understand why he's saying it. Mm. But. He has to understand that there are two types of media. So the media that are on the tour with him have been invited. They're invited media, mm. and in the past, always, the royal family have chatted to us before, you know, on the tour. They've said what they want to get out of it. They make us feel like human beings. We're invited. We're there to help them. They're he sure. there to help us. Mm. Um, and I think that's been a bit lacking in the relationship mm. with Harry and Meghan. Mm. Because there's an unwritten rule in the royal family that when one lot are on a tour, the others don't do anything to detract from that. Because mm. you're there representing the Queen sure. and your country. You, yeah. It's not about you. Yeah. Yeah. So I do have sympathy, but looking at them now, I think they should take some time off yeah. from royal duties. Because yeah. <laughs> then it's not sitting well with them at all. Yeah. Yeah. They're not coping. And I, I, I agree with you. When I watched it, I have to say, I felt uncomfortable witnessing these two people actually having a breakdown. Uh, that's how yeah. I felt. I felt deeply voyeuristic watching it. But also, for me, look, I'm a mother and I just think... I look at Princess... Well, I think about Princess Diana and I think she's looking down on these two sons. Mm. And how was she... You know, you, do, you know, whenever I, I'm in a bit of a rut, I, just, I do look up and I go, what would my dad want me to do in this situation? Especially when it comes to family. Yeah. My dad and mum, they brought us up with really strong family values and it doesn't always go right. But for me, these two are really missing that family support. Well, and these even, two, you, you mean Harry and Harry Meghan? Harry and Meghan. I feel like on Meghan's side, I feel like her family yes. is dysfunctional. Especially Megan. And so when you're mm. going through this, you do call back on your family. If you haven't got them to talk to, who do you talk yeah. to? And also with Harry, you know, listening to him talk about his brother, that I don't see him very much. We have our ups and downs. We read between the lines. To me, mm. that says there's a rift there. It just seems on self-destruct mm. mode a bit to me. Yeah. I don't know. I can't quite put my I finger feel, on it. I but... feel that. And I feel, I feel like, for me, <laughs> one of the... My top tips... Anybody advising them would say... Get back to your, bring your family together. Get back into this family. Really? It's so important. They'll help you through it. I, I must admit, well, from from my personal point of view, and it is you know just personal point of view. I I agree with you, Jane. I think that. Um, bless, for me, Harry looks like he's suffering from some kind of yeah. post-traumatic distress disorder. Yeah. That the fact that he's getting triggered so easily, and from someone who's experienced postnatal depression myself. My heart broke. I was in tears watching Meghan last night because I just thought that 
poor girl. Take away, and, and, and there's going to be naysayers out there going, oh, she knew what she was doing, and, you know, she's married into the wealthiest family in the world. This is a young woman who's newly married and newly had a baby on a daily basis having the core of her ripped apart by people disagreeing with her and why is she doing that, selling lies about her, what she, she's even said. <laughs> and to me, I just thought, you, she... She looks so vulnerable. My my feelings were you both just need to go away for a little while and recover and but why, regroup. Why aren't they? I, I, do you know, Harry kept calling it a job and in this job and in this we'll job. What's your job? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they, they could, they're wealthy enough well, I mean, that they could go and do that, that stuff unhappy. as they yeah. want anyway. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why are you doing that? Yeah, they don't have to. You they know, don't they have don't to really have to. They don't, but, but for me, yeah. you know, there's that balance of you giving up all of that privilege and lifestyle and, you know, all that to what you really want to do, and that's the decision they've got to make. But, okay, it's but you know, her, her, hard break one. It's a hard her break up with her family, the, the media are a conduit in that they've written what the family have told them, but the fundamental problem is that her family are not supportive of her, and vi she seems to have cut them adrift. I don't know what's going mm. on there either. If they'd sorted that out, but that's the key out... point. We don't know what's going no, on. No, but now. if they sorted doors. that out right at the beginning, yeah. I think it would all be fine now. I and, felt so you know, sorry for her. Kate, yeah. Kate, Kate went through her fair share of all of that at the beginning. Mm. She had. You know, a new baby, a new a new role, very public. And her brother, but she's got a very depression. supportive, close knit mm. family, and, which makes all. Yeah. And also, you know, she's been kind of groomed towards being a future king for much, much longer.